Madison and Aaliyah, thank you both for being here. Tell us about this great opportunity and getting to go to Paris in the fall and how much this means to both of you. Yeah, it's really amazing to be able to have the opportunity to model in Paris Fashion Week. It feels like it's an historic and once in a lifetime opportunity, not only for us, but for our community and all the indigenous people across Turtle Island. Aaliyah? Yeah, um, not only are we going to Paris to model, that's something that we both have had on our minds for so long. It's yeah. been a dream for us. But like we're doing it for our indigenous community. We get to represent two beautiful indigenous designers. And yeah. I just can't wait for that. No, that's awesome. Tell me how you two connected with designer Alicia Sutherland, Alicia Sutherland and, and how much her designs mean to you. Sure. We connected with Alicia mm -hmm. through Manitowabe, actually. We were both selected to model for the festival. Yeah. Um, and then she selected us to be one of her models. Mm -hmm. And then we ended up doing a fitting at her at her house. Yeah, and during the fitting, um, she was just kind of like talking with us, asking us questions, getting to know us. And then we shared a little bit about our goals and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then she kind of just went on and motivated us, like just shared some really strong words with us. Mm -hmm. And I remember we were all like tearing up because <laughs> it was just like really touching. and. It inspired us and like yeah. it pushed us to keep going with what we want to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, so one thing just led to another. Yeah, yeah. kind of. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, both of you have been keeping busy all summer, yeah. fundraising just so you can go to this, yeah. this <laughs> event in Paris in the fall. How has that been? It's been, it's been tough trying to fundraise, mm -hmm. but it's also been rewarding for the hard work that we've been doing. We are doing like yard sales, we're doing Chase the Ace boards, we're doing mm -hmm. raffles, any sort of fundraising that we can do to raise the amount that we can go to Paris. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, I like it because we're doing it as a team as well. We're both trying to get a, each other out there mm -hmm. and it's been really good. We've been connecting with a lot of like people we never thought we would get the chance to talk with and stuff yeah. and it's super cool and um, I had something I wanted to say, I just forgot it. I'm sure there's been a, like, a lot of support though from all, the, all of the community hey, oh, in has, wanting you yeah. both yeah. to go. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, definitely. I, like, as soon as we announced that we we're going to Paris Fashion Week, everyone was so excited and supportive and that exactly. they wanted to help us and be there for us. Mm -hmm. And it felt so warming, like, yes, we want to bring you to Paris, share this experience with everybody mm -hmm. and having the open arms to do it with them. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Was something like modeling always on your guys' radar? Was that something you wanted to do down, uh, later in life? Uh, yeah, for me personally, like growing up, it always like intrigued me, like taking photos and just being goofy in front of the camera. And then like my peers, coworkers around me would always encourage me to model. And then when I met Maddie a couple of years back, um, it was just something we both were interested in and we used to work in a warehouse and we would practice on our breaks how to model walk and we'd be like one way, one day we're going to be on these runways, yeah. one way we'll be on these stages. Yeah. And I remember like in the warehouse too, like people would be like, you guys should be models, you guys yeah. should do this, do that. And we're like, um, maybe, maybe, maybe we can do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for myself, it started when I was 17 for modeling. It mm -hmm. was for a small fashion show up in my community, a Pasquat Cree Nation. And I started with my best friend at the time, and it was really th thrilling, the experience to go on the runway. I felt really powerful and strong, and I felt confident, and I feel like I want everybody to feel that, and I want to share the experience with that, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. Um, and Maddie, um, you're not, not new to being in front of crowds. You ran previously in 2023 for Miss Universe Canada. Yes, mm -hmm. that is correct. I went to Miss Universe Canada last year and competed in Vancouver. Although it was a big crowd, I still get very, very nervous. Mm -hmm. I still get like sh like jittery, and I still get shaky, but it's very thrilling to be able to push myself past my limits and be uncomfortable mm -hmm. in that situation and know that I'm okay to do this. Mm -hmm. Finally, any last words of advice for young um, women out there, Indigenous youth who want to get involved in modeling? Um, I would say no matter how much you have that fear and anxiety, if that's something you really want to do, you should do it because you're able to accomplish that if you truly believe in yourself. Just exactly. take that leap and do it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. One thing that I carry with me from my late papa Zach is 
fear is the killer of dreams and it's so true and I carry that with me and I truly believe that you are capable of doing anything your dreams you can reach for the stars and even more than that and I and I want to sh like share that with everybody that I, I never thought that I can go somewhere like go to Paris go to Miss Universe Canada and I did it, and I felt accomplished, and I felt great doing that. Mm -hmm. And I want everyone to feel the same way and share that you can do anything. Mm -hmm. yes. Tapway, well, Madison and Aaliyah, thank you both for talking to us, and we wish you all the best in Paris. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate us a lot. <laughs>